All right, guys, in this episode, I'm gonna show you guys an easy way to make face frames. It could be for cabinets, doors, and anything that you're trying to glue up there with a frame. I'm gonna show you guys how to use some of these parallel clamps with some of these Bessie frame block kits that they make. I'm gonna show you guys how you can easily do this with a set of these clamps and some of these blocks. All right, so these are the Jurgensen clamps, and like I said, these are the parallel clamps. I have a set of the 36 and the 24 back here. You know, these are both, you know, 1,500 pounds of clamping power. These are the Bessie blocks that actually are, were made to work with the Bessie brand parallel clamps. However, they will work with these here today. And essentially what this is going to allow you to do, is going to allow you to be able to stack these, you know, across each other by using these slots. Obviously, there's other cheaper alternatives out there. I've used some of these pony straps here many times to glue up different things. You know, Bessie makes a version as well. But when you start getting into larger things like cabinets and doors, this method here by using these parallel clamps is a lot easier to use. All right, so to set these up, all you need to do is set your blocks out like that. Get your clamps. You're gonna set them in there like that. And on the first set, you're gonna put on the lower side. So if you see here, there's a farther groove here, and these are the shorter ones. These are gonna be for your clamps on the top. These are gonna be for your clamps on the bottom. So then take your next one. You slide it in there like that. Now take your cross clamps and you're going to set them in those top grooves. Get this one set in there. Like that. So then you're going to want to kind of adjust it based on, you know, obviously, you know, the different size of material that you're working with. But generally, you're going to have these blocks kind of in the corner on each set there. But as you can see now, you now set up these four corners here in regard to how you can clamp. So you're gonna clamp pressure this way, clamp pressure this way, and now you're gonna make your perfect square. So I'll get some scrap wood here and I'll show you an example. All right, so once you get these adjusted to where you kind of need them generally, you put your boards in there. And really the key to this is, is obviously don't tighten down one side just kind of tighten them all together so you're collapsing it in a perfect square. You know, obviously you don't want one of your corners to look something like that. You know, the idea is you're applying even pressure around these to get a perfect square. So uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to these, you know, as far as, you know, how much you're going to tighten in a certain area there. But once you get the hang of it, you know, it's pretty straightforward. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of going around getting each one of these tightened up there. like that. As you can see, you now have four perfectly square corners. This is some of that material that, you know, it might be questionable. Do you really need these heavy duty, you know, clamps? Because, you know, I will be honest with you, these parallel clamps are very expensive. However, if you're going to get use out of them over the years, you know, I think they're a well justified investment. But these strap clamps, you're very easily able to do this very similar on here. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, Look at some of these strap clamps, you know, again, these are some of the pony ones. Bessie makes some that are just as good there, but look at some of them. But if you're going to be doing a lot of clamp ups, if you're going to be doing a lot of bigger materials, new doors, etc., there, get yourself some of these clamps and get some of these Bessie blocks down here. I think you're going to be very surprised once you get in a rhythm of setting these up, you can get really get going, getting a lot of these glued up in very reasonable time there. So I think, you know, these are a well justified investment there. So uh, hopefully this helped you out here today. If there's any questions, you guys, you know, curious on how this works, if, you know, something wasn't clear on how I showed it here today, let me know. Post some comments there below and I'll be glad to help you any way I can. I'll post some links to some of these in the description as well so you can see where you can get some of these blocks. A lot of these clamps, these are at your local Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, they all have them in stock usually, but these blocks are very hard to find. The only place I've found these blocks are on Amazon. So, uh, you know, I'll put some links in below there so you can get yourself some of this if you're interested in doing this same setup, you know, that we have here today. So you know, I hope this helped you out here today. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching.